So here we go, YouTube. Back again, I'm sorry this video is kind of shaky. I'm actually driving to the boat ramp right now and the road is super bumpy, but it is tournament time again. We're pulling up to the ramp here for, this is actually the last day of practice here at Smith Lake. Sorry I didn't let you guys ride with me the previous two days, but it has been raining cats, dogs, monkeys, two zebras, and I think a Brazilian ostrich the last couple days. The lake has risen like, I don't know, a couple, five foot, literally overnight. So, I'm sorry, but I just couldn't uh, have my little gear out in the rain for you to follow with us. But, I'm going to try to bring you along with me today, catch a little bit of the practice action and see what's going on on the great old Smith Lake. It should be pretty good fishing. It's springtime. It is prime time to be bass fishing so i can't imagine well let me tell you fishing hasn't been that great for me but i know it's good i just got to find it out so let us get out there and as usual let's get it on ready this is important I always like to have that plug in nice having a remote plug power up to old Lawrence's here uh -huh. Lawrence number two are you ready oh are you ready all right I mentioned earlier that the water has come up probably four five six seven I don't know a whole bunch because we got a lot of rain that first day of practice I'm gonna show you guys exactly how much it's come up okay so you see that right there that is where I'm supposed to tie my boat up to that dock and I'm supposed to walk out on that to my boat well that's covered in about a foot of water right now if you can see that and here's the thing and it's still coming up Smith Lake is spotted bass fishery has spotted bass and largemouth as far as i know no small mouth or no alligators no uh, redfish speckled trout just largemouth spotted bass supposedly a clear deep fishery is definitely deep uh for as clear i don't really think it's that clear i mean it's decently clear but not as clear as my home lake at, at home visibility is anywhere between I would say a foot and a half to four or five foot. Uh, but fish are probably mostly in the, on the spawn, probably a few pre-spawners, and I'm quite certain there's some post-spawners as well. So uh, that draws a picture of what's actually going on as far as fishing is going. Now, fishing doesn't seem to be that easy as normal. I wish it was a lot easier than it really is, but it's just not that easy right now for me. But it's just, that's the first time I've seen this place and I fished it for two days now. So um, I'm basically gonna go around and fish where I think fish are spawning. And I'm gonna fish where, um, for some post spawn fish too, because I know the water's been in the 60s. I think it's like 60, anywhere from 62, 63 all the way to 66, 67. So if it's been that warm for any amount of time, there's definitely gonna be some fish that have finished spawning. So we're gonna go fish some stuff offshore and we're gonna just gonna throw around in some pocket, just cast around and hopefully we'll run into some fish. So let's get out here on Smith Lake and see what it's all about, folks. The forest woodcut champion is. Oh, just want to thank each and every sponsor: Mustang, Mercury, Falcon Boats, 
FLW tour. I want to thank Bill Taylor for having an awesome accent. This is the reason that I come to fish the FLW tour. Giant Smith Lake spotted bass. Watch out, Cody Murray. This ain't gonna work, folks. This just is not gonna work. All morning long, that's what I've been catching. Like that kind. Let me just ease this big old master butt back down in Smith Lake. That's cool. First gas. I like that. I was on a very predictable spot and everything. First gas. hard to get any rhythm going today. I'm catching a few fish here and there, but I am not liking the size until I'm talking about we can catch. If we can catch that kind of size the rest of the day or even intermittently. Once in a while, if we can just run into one, there's one, oh, let it go. Got another one. Another good one, folks. That's a big one. That's a big one, man. Oh yeah, that's a real big one, y'all. Heck yeah. That's a real big one.
<laughs> yeah, how quickly it can change. He got that down in his throat. How quickly things change. I hadn't really been doing much and I just was taking my time put putting around and just finally found an area that really just looks good to me. Alright. Huh? What y'all think about that, you two? That's three that's a three pounder for sure. You're gonna need a lot more fish like that. If I can catch a fish like that intermittently every once in a while, I like my chances. So let's see how many bites we can get. I think with those two bites, what I'm gonna do is, since we're starting to get a few bites, I'm actually gonna take my hook point. I'm gonna bend it in. Just take that in, bend it in. That way a fish has got no way of hooking itself. I'm just gonna see how many bites I can get going down through here. You know, normally I don't bend my hooks in, but I think it's a good idea because there's a good chance a lot of these fish that are gonna bite are probably spawners. A lot of the spotted bass spawn a little bit later than largemouth. And obviously I'm fishing these really steep banks and probably if you get bit, there's a good chance you probably can go back and catch that fish in the tournament. Another bite. Another bite right there. I'm gonna try to shake this one off. I got my hook point bent in, so that's good. Feels like a heavy fish too. enough to fish the tournament in but you always got to pre prepare for the worst case scenario in case things don't go according to the plan you like to have I like to have a lot of options right now that's exactly what I'm doing I'm out here looking for options I need options I don't want to wait till tournament day and then find out oh yeah about that spot where you caught four or five yeah they're not gonna be there anymore we got to keep this train moving areas within our areas. Bite. 
got one. Hold the bike. I'm swimming out to the middle with it. This little creek right here is on. I had not been catching that many fish and I've had seven or eight bites just in this one creek. So far. I was setting the hook and forgot that I had uh, down there setting the hook and forgot that I had bent my hook. <laughs> I'm like I don't know why they keep messing. Me. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, Retie this Ned rig and uh, we'll check out a few more creeks before we call it quits today. But it looks like I got a region of the lake that I need to stay in for sure. As I stayed around Duncan Bridge around that area, it seems like I get a few bites. But as soon as I started to get much farther north than there, I hadn't really had any bites. So it's been a 15 20 more minutes. Here in this creek. And then uh, we're going to look at one last creek before the night ends. And that'll be it. That'll be practices over with. I don't think it's tough. I'm not catching that many, but I, I know it's not tough out here. I don't really even know what I can catch, but or as weight goes because I'm shaking up off quite a few and Man, I've caught a lot of really small fish today. Really small ones. One thing about throwing a nittery, that's just what I'm throwing there, my little hula stick on a one fifth ounce head. You never know what you're gonna pull up with that thing. Sometimes they can be a three pounder. Well, folks, that's it. That's the end of practice for me. We got about 10 minutes to run back, so we better head on before Bill Taylor gets upset. But, I don't know. Caught some fish. Um, it could be good. I can't promise any size. Definitely some fish out here to be caught. I don't know how many I'll be able to rope during the tournament. But uh, got some places to fish. Nonetheless, so it's all good. Smith is a beautiful lake. I hear it's got some big spotted bass. I have only seen two nice spotted bass. With this falcon in the wind, the next video that you see will be FLW Tour Stop number five from Lewis Smith, Jasper, Alabama. All right, folks, let's get out of here.